to get it all, never slip through my fingers Game rental slash offline activation service Basically any game you can imagine uh, I have that like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1, 2, 3 Star Wars Jedi Survivor, Avatar Phantoms of Pandora and many more so if you are interested in that you can comment down below or join my discord and come to the particular group hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another uh, dlss 3 slash fps 3 video we are back with senwa saga hellblade 2 uh, this is super early of the game like the launch version of the game there is no update uh, so this there can be some bugs and glitches uh, I will update the video further on and this will be for the DLSS uh, slash RTX card users because this is the DLSS 3 mod. I have not tested the FSR 3 yet. Uh, I was away from home. I just drove 200 kilometers and got back here. So yeah, I did not get any time to test the FSR 3. So yeah, maybe I will test the FSR 3 later on. So do try to stick on for that video on the channel. And uh, yeah, this game is made on the Dell Engine 5. So the details you see on the ground, the puddles, the rocks are very sharp and clear. Uh, they use something called the Mega Scam or Quicksell, those studios or scan technology. Uh, developers and graphics designer will know more about this. So right now I have not activated the mod and I am playing right now on 1080p with uh, every other setting on medium preset. And uh, yeah, this is the setting. Uh, I'm right now using TSR. Uh, upscaler uh, and the fps is very low this is very uh, badly optimized or do i say graphical heavy uh, so the fps is only around 30 right now on rtx 2060 uh, on 1080p so if i maybe switch to dlss it will get a little bit better let's see uh, so on dlss quality yeah, it's a little bit better like uh, 15 fps from 30 to around 40 to 45 fps but yeah we will use uh, dlss 3 mod to boost it even further so yeah, let's begin the game also uses uh, something called the direct access storage i think uh, that's why the loading times are very fast on this game so yeah we'll be needing this zip so we're gonna extract it to the desktop after extracting uh, we're gonna see some files we're gonna copy everything and we're gonna go to the installation directory Hellblade 2. After that, Hellblade 2 binaries Win64 and where the Hellblade 2 Win64 shipping.ex is located, we're gonna paste those files here. Now, after testing, if you are a first time user of this mod, uh, you will need to disable the signature check. So, double click on it and click on yes. And now we go back to the game and see how much FPS we are getting. Okay, for some reason the Nvidia Shadow Play just stopped recording. I don't know why, and it's uh, refusing to start recording. Like uh, if I try to start record, it just gets uh, cancelled. Uh, I don't know why it's happening. I've also tried the OBS, but it's eating too much FPS. So yeah, that's why I've switched to the smartphone camera. Now we're in the game. Let's just hit the checkpoint. I hope uh, the smartphone is capturing the MSI Afterburner UI well. So yeah, we are back in the game and uh, which I was talking about earlier, this game maybe uses uh, direct, direct storage. So I am right now running it on from the hard disk and as you guys have seen it loaded up maybe in 5 seconds, 5 to 7 seconds. So on SSD maybe it will be even more uh, faster. So the FPS is still around the same. Uh, let's activate the frame generation from the setting. So after graphics setting, we can see frame generation have come online. So I'm gonna select it, turn it on. Now we're gonna go back to the game and uh, yeah, there we go. Now it's, wait, let me disable the obvious, it, it's FPS. Let me make it full screen once and yeah, there we go. Uh, now it's in the 80 to 90 territory. Mm from 30 and 35 to 90 maybe it will get even more higher yeah there we go uh, near 100 so yeah this is fully working so yeah i will also try to make the mod work on uh, gtx and amd series also but i haven't got time so that's why i can't test uh, it on gtx and amd uh, but yeah i will do it very soon so stick around for that and uh, yeah if this video helps you 
uh, you can subscribe to the channel you can comment down below if you are facing any kind of issue and you can join the discord for more upcoming mods and uh, more cool uh, softwares and everything you know so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one uh, until then uh, cheers and enjoy the game uh, i'm just gonna run maybe two to three minutes just to show you guys how the mod is running and everything so yeah thank you Also, uh, this mod is uh, very stable. Like uh, there is no boot flicker, jitter, or no crashing. If I haven't faced, like I am testing here for maybe 15 to 20 minutes or so, I haven't faced a single crash in this game. Like you can alt tab, the minimize the game, make it full screen. The subtitles are also totally stable. So yeah, it's good for RTX card. But yeah, I'll try to make it work on GTX and AMD. Also, maybe one more thing. Uh, you can try this uh, frame generation uh, along with uh, Intel XCSS. No, you can't. Yeah, I was afraid about that. So it's not decoupled yet. Uh, the frame generation is stuck to the DLSS, I think. Like if you use FSR or XCSS, you cannot use the frame generation. You will only need to use the DLSS. What kind of sign it is? Signs are everywhere. Do I need to grab something or what? Yeah, I'm not a fan of a puzzle game. Okay, I think we need to make a sign out of this, yes. Hundred FPS, nice. Okay, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one.